All right, guys. Today we're gonna be working on the F-150 again, 2009. We've got the uh, binding steering problem on this. So previously we had to replace the power steering cooler um, because we had a leak from the factory one. The factory one's actually integrated with the AC. So I didn't wanna open up the AC system drain Freon out on my own so I just went ahead and put an external line on it and then what we ended up running into after that was this binding problem what happens with this binding issue is that you'd be driving down the road pretty simple a steering wheels just easy to go you know between 2 and 10 but then if you try and turn further like do a full turn you end up getting some resistance and then even when you come in when your steering wheels come in, going back to straight up and down you it still takes a little bit of effort to get it there um, it doesn't just return on its own so what some research has shown is that in the 11th and 12th gen f-150s and in in expeditions in the same years as well as Lincoln navigators they have this this lower steering column shaft that starts binding down and it's got a lot of wear and tear on it so if you pop your hood you'll actually be able to see it pretty good and it's a pretty easy test so it should be ow, right there this guy okay so the knuckles end up getting gummed up and the way you can tell that it's actually that that's the knuckles the u joints that are actually getting seized up is just by hitting it with some pb blaster or any kind of like rust penetrant spray it on there really soak it on there and then take it for a spin and if the steering wheel isn't bound up anymore then you pretty much solved it but you've only solved it really temporarily what you need to do is go out and get your steering shaft, whether it's a Famoco part or your off-brand. If you want to pay the $300 for Famoco, go for it. I went off-brand. So now I'm going to take a photo. Actually, we'll do some time-lapse and we'll uh, see how long it takes us to do this. Uh, the one bolt, I think the bolt closer to the steering wheel is going to be pretty easy because you can reach it from right from the top. But the lower bolt is going to take some extensions and probably some universal joints of itself. So let's get to it. But your, that light you had was money. Okay, so there it is right here. Let's try and... I think it's free turning now. Like, I think yeah. you're, all, you're past all the threads. Yeah, it's just a matter of grabbing it out of there so what I'll do is I'll just come from the other side so also I had to give it a little tap um, with a hammer on the top knuckle up here just kind of helping it push out of that little notch I used a flathead and a pry bar to open that up as well now it's a little baby hammer that I use to get it out. Let's try to get the bottom. All right guys, this is a view from right by the oil filter. Let's see if we can get up in there. Show you what we're dealing with here. So, I'm trying to tap this guy out. Where are you at? See him back there? I got the bolt out. There it is. Straight on. There's the bolt out, but we gotta tap it out. So I don't know how we're gonna do it. It's pretty well rusted in there. I hit it with a couple times with a hammer and it's moved it a little bit. So I'm gonna try it from the top with my hand. All right guys, so the top one's kind of a bitch. I mean, hard. So this top part of the shaft right here you gotta take that one off first and then take the lower one down there 
once you get to the lower one, I had to turn the steering wheel to angle it to an angle to where I could actually get it off. Also, this one, the top, your upper one, is a shocker, 13 millimeter, while the lower one, the lower universal joint bolt is a 10 millimeter. So have both those ready because when you're trying to angle them both in there, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Also know that this upper shaft, once you take it off, the steering wheel is pretty much free spooling. So just remember where, how you have it oriented. So I'm taking note right now that the notch was on the top. You can see a little notch down there. Yeah, it's like, it looks like a little dip right on top there, there. Um, the notch is on the top and this one is rectangular. So I had it angled up and down. So we're gonna keep having at it. All right guys, so I tightened in the bottom one first because it's kind of a pain in the butt to get down there. Just uh, widen up that little crease for the bottom one. See that little crease on there? Little slip. This guy, I try to pry it open a little bit so you can get it onto that that lower portion, this side. This one's the lower one, the triangular looking one. And once you open it up, you can feel it, you know, go right in there and then you can kind of work your way down it and then lock that bolt in, that 10 millimeter. Now we're gonna do the top. And so we gotta extend the shaft, it's a little stiff and it's dirty. So this took about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. The only reason it took so long was because beer happened. Um, but it went on pretty easy. Um, we're gonna go take it for a quick spin and then make sure everything's all tight. Torque down 40 pound feet, and you're all good. Thanks for watching.